Hostiles, 12 o'clock and 6 miles. What is this tack they're looking for anyway? It's some kind of weapon left by the ancients. The kind that decides who wins the war. Have Moloch's warriors been here before? I don't like the look of this. That was above and beyond. Isn't the Lambda site off-world, sir? I'd like to briefly take a moment and say thank you to everyone who has continued to join us over the Florida Maquis Patreon channel. The Holy Bible teaches us, rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. If you'd like to join us over there, it's only one U.S. dollar per month at the base level, and even less than that if you sign up for an entire year, and no matter what level you choose, it's fully refundable. First 90 days, no questions asked. What's the difference between YouTube and Patreon? At Patreon, we can take the gloves off. There are no sensors. We have, of course, the Patreon firewall, and then we also have Vimeo that we're partnering with, and that gives us one extra layer of protection where we can speak our minds and we can take advantage of rights that we used to enjoy in this country freely. would love to have you over there. There are hundreds of of exclusive videos never before seen here on YouTube. Please, if you have the ability, would love to have you over there. You won't regret it. God bless all of you, and thank you so much. I thought I would start off today's video with this image because it ties together a lot of different things we've been talking about. Now, of course, it's just a common alligator. But during the founding of the New World, if you went back to Europe trying to describe this creature, tell stories of a creature like this, you would have been seen as a little bit off your rocker. Giant serpent, 15 feet long, um, armor plated. They just didn't have them in Europe. They could have never understood or conceptualized such a thing. And of course, stories got blown out of proportion like they always do. But today, they're just as common as squirrels down here. And you're really seen more as a bit of a doofus if you get attacked by one than someone who's a victim. Because they're fairly easy to avoid. Now, there are areas of Florida that if you dropped out of a helicopter into them, especially in the Everglades, you would think you were in some... Um, mythical world that had never been settled. This is a picture from Venezuela. It's the same way. And the reason I started this video this way is because during those early days, trying to describe what was seen and what existed in the new world to people from the old world was a very difficult thing to do. How much more so now would we say that about Antarctica? Showing the images that we've seen, and we've seen more than one, we've seen dozens, that prove something very, very different is going on down there. And there may be creatures under the ice that we had no idea could live under the ice. There could be an entire functioning ecosystem under that ice. Nobody could disprove it. Because of so little is known. Just like at that time, so little was known about the New World. And the stories that came back were somewhat fantastical and 
a little bit hard to believe. The ice down there is melting. That's fact. But there's also a great deal of volcanic activity as well. So it may not be this thing where there's just an either or. Either this is true or that is true. One of the things that I had shown some months back was this video that they made, this Antarctic bed machine video. And I just want to show part of it again because it's really incredible to watch what they have been able to uncover down here. The resolution. And it shows things that just don't make sense to just the explanation of wind, ice, rock, and snow. There were Spanish explorers that had come back and reported to the king back then that Florida was this inhospitable, um, unmanageable wilderness that no profit could ever be made from. And there are parts of Florida that are still that way. But what do we know now to be the truth of the new world? That, while well, yes, that was the case, even up until the 1950s when Walt Disney bought that center part of Florida and turned it into what it is now, it was farmland and really not even that great of farmland. This particular image right here is just stunning, and I'm going to pause it. It's the Denman Glacier, and this is ten times deeper than Death Valley. The sheer drop that goes from parts of this are as high as Everest, right next to places that are that deep, below sea level. It's an amazing, amazing thing to see. And we have so little information about the fifth largest continent on the planet. To make any grandiose statements about what may or what may not be there, I think it's just too early to dismiss anything. I want to show this because I really don't have any other explanation for what it could be. All I've labeled it as is two glowing eyes. When you look into the shadow here of this location, and of course, like always, I'll give it to you, you can turn the light down as much as you want in this shadow, and there are two very distinct glowing eyes of some kind. I don't care what angle you look at this from. There's something back there. What it is, who knows? I do know at night in Florida, you can go out to just about any pond or lake and take a flashlight, and you'll see all sorts of glowing eyes. Imagine being the first uh, settler from Europe somewhere to see a creature like that. Just these two glowing orange eyes off in the distance that just start coming at you, and then the thing coming out of the water would be something out of a nightmare. Why would it be so hard to believe this is the case down here? I don't know what this thing is, to be truthful, but it doesn't look friendly. And I've tried to uh, move the curtains around in here a little bit. Let me see if I can get a little bit better uh, darkness in here to take that... There we go. Take the streak out of there. It's getting in the way of the, the window. I don't know what that is, but I sure as heck don't want to meet it in a dark alley. There's some kind of body shape to it. I just don't know. But I'm not going to dismiss it as just, oh, it's just snow. It's just wind and ice and rocks and stuff like that. Because they did. They absolutely um, brought back incredible stories about things from the New World. Things they hadn't seen. All were true. Some were exaggerated. So all I would ask is keep an open mind. This isn't nearly as scary, but it's just as quiz as a uh, strange. I mean, it's not 
wind, it's not ice or rock, but whatever it is, seems a little bit uh, not random. The shapes underneath it, the shapes around it, I don't know how one could look at this and say, yep, that's just the way it is. And the colors are just beyond anything I've seen anywhere else looking at different regions, even in Venezuela or the Rocky Mountains or the Andes or anywhere else. The images from Antarctica are unique. And unique in a way that makes me have to believe that this is the next big frontier. I don't think we need to be looking to outer space. I think we need to be looking at the deep oceans and Antarctica because they are the last frontier. I personally believe 99.95% of the things that we call quote-unquote UFOs are either craft or evidence of life from this continent. And until we can rule it out, how can we say anything else? Because we can't say what's down there because we haven't really uh, looked into it. Not with an open mind, anyway. I found this location a while back and hesitated to share it because it's very difficult to show. But right here, there is a wheel. And then there is another wheel and what looks like four spokes right here. And like I said, once again, I will put down in the description all three of these locations. And you can look at them for yourself. I'm not sure if the light going up or down makes this better. That's a probably a little bit too much there. There we go. And then one other area that just... When you zoom in, solid black with two equidistant white dots. And I circled the whole area because over here, something else that just doesn't look anything like what nature would create. So I guess I'll just leave that there, let you guys uh, try to make up your minds what you think this is. But very, very, very strange creature, whatever this is. And it just reminded me of what settlers must have thought back in the 15th, 16th century, the first time they encountered one of those giant gators here in Florida. Like, share, subscribe. Would like to briefly take a moment and say thank you to everyone who has continued to join us over the Florida Maquis Patreon channel. The Holy Bible teaches us, rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. If you'd like to join us over there, it's only one U.S. dollar per month at the base level, and even less than that, if you sign up for an entire year and no matter what level you choose, it's fully refundable. First 90 days, no questions asked. What's the difference between YouTube and Patreon? At Patreon, we can take the gloves off. There are no censors. We have, of course, the Patreon firewall, and then we also have Vimeo that we're partnering with, and that gives us one extra layer of protection where we can speak our minds and we can take advantage of rights that we used to enjoy in this country freely. Would love to have you over there. There are hundreds of exclusive videos never before seen here on YouTube. Please, if you have the ability, would love to have you over there. You won't regret it. God bless all of you, and thank you so much. Hot time, 12 o'clock and 6 miles. What is this tack they're looking for anyway? 
It's some kind of weapon left by the ancients. The kind that decides who wins the war. Have Moloch's warriors been here before? I don't like the look of this. That was above and beyond. Isn't the Lambda site off-world, sir? 